Mini episode 1208 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge Mini Episode 1208. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our preview of Better Call Saul Episode 5.7. Here's our top five notes of interest coming out of Episode 5.6. Number five, last week's cold open told us so much about Kim. Her big heart, hard work, and unselfishness, we now know, stands in stark contrast to her selfish mother. Like Jimmy, she bears the scars of childhood trauma, but of an opposite kind. Jimmy was horrified to see his kindly father taken advantage of, and he came to view those types of kind-hearted souls as saps. Unfortunately, it's becoming crystal clear to his girlfriend that, whether he realizes it or not on a conscious level, she is the kind of person that he disdains. Number 4. The humbling of Howard is a fun comedic subplot, but these situations always build into something more dramatic on this show. The bowling ball destruction of Howie's slick ride and now the hookers accosting him at the country club. Sooner rather than later, Howard's going to realize that Jimmy's way of turning him down is to add insult to injury. Then what? There's little to nothing left of what is now Saul's soul to crush, so however Howard responds, it's likely to be out of our box of expectations. Number three. What an interesting dynamic there is between Mike and Nacho. While both are enveloped in a dangerous dynamic with the brewing gang war, because of the circumstances under which they met, there appears to be mutual respect and concern for the other's well-being in their partnership. Mike's willingness to put in a word for Nacho with Gus upon completion of the Lalo trap was interesting, but since Lalo's not going down without a fight, Nacho's going to stay trapped between that rock and hard place for the foreseeable future. Number 2. Lalo's going to make somebody pay. Given that he was pulled over not long after Nacho got out of the car, the wheels in his head were probably turning immediately. Mike worked an impressive con with the police in terms of framing Lalo, but this looks like the place where Saul's cartel involvement takes a permanent turn towards the seriously involved. And it should be seriously epic, with Mike no doubt working him over to play a double game to betray his client. Number 1. What a couple of plot twists for Jimmy and Kim. The ambush in the Mesa Verde meeting is right up there with Chuck's unmasking as a scumbag and Jimmy exposing Chuck's electricity poisoning as psychosomatic as the greatest in the history of the program. And then Kim, in all of her fury, pivots from the breakup five seasons in the making to a thinking out loud scenario of getting married that ranks with the most shocking closes to a Better Call Saul episode ever. It's absolutely fascinating to consider what she internalized about her relationship with her dysfunctional mother, since she's on the verge of doing just the opposite here of what she previously did, doubling down on her connection to someone that she loves that she knows will end up hurting her terribly. The long-awaited breakup between these two would have been heartbreaking enough coming off of her devastation when Jimmy threw her under the bus in pursuit of a better deal from Mesa Verde. If they do tie the knot, it's almost impossible to imagine how much more painful it will be to watch her suffer after she does something that she would know deep down was a mistake from day one. Let's see when the wedding bells toll. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.